Welcome guys. In this section, I will show you how to automate your iOS apps using Appium. Okay, so I will start from the scratch to start from where we can download Appium and install all the required configurations like iPhone, iPad, simulators, and then we will set up one APM Maven project and write the code to automate the apps present in the iPhone. So that is our end goal. Okay. So as part of this process, on the first part, I will show how to set up all configurations and softwares in our system. And then we will start with actual automation script to build a functional testing around iOS apps. As part of our automation testing, we will make sure we understand how to automate drop downs, edit boxes, steppers, buttons, menus of iOS apps. And also I will explain how to handle alerts, scroll on your app, how to swipe, long press, tapping, perform 3D touch events and sliders, everything step by step. I will show you how to automate all these um, functionalities on iOS apps using Appium. Okay, so we will start from step zero, starting from downloading Appium server. So why we need Appium server? So basically Appium is based on client server architecture where server is written on Node.js platform. So client is nothing but your actual automation code. So you write your code and you send your code to the Appium server. Okay, so you direct the code whatever you have written to the server so you have to make sure first you have server with you and you have to start that server so that server will keep on listening for the actual appium code from your client right in the client itself it's nothing but your code where you write it in your eclipse editor so from that code server will take that code and server process your appium code and understand your code and based upon that it perform that subsequent actions on iPhone okay server takes care of that okay so from front end you need not worry about how all this is happening so what all you do is just write an Appium code and redirect that code to server I'll tell you how to uh, redirect your code to server so that server takes it and it's a duty of server to process your code and execute that actions in iPhone right so for that you have to have two setups in your system one Appium server which will be listening on one port number in your uh, system by default Appium will listen on 4723 port right and you write your code in Java Appium comes in multiple languages, right? You can write your code in Java, Python, C Sharp, JavaScript. It's up to you. And this section is on Java. So you write your code in Appium Java and you send your code to this server. And this server takes care and does the work, right? That's the overall base concept. So for that reason, you have to have these two. And let's start by downloading Appium server in our Mac OS. So this complete uh, training session is showing is designed on a Mac because iOS and iPhone automation only supports of course in Mac you cannot have uh, iPhone simulator set up in Windows machine okay so you can work only on Android in Windows but whereas in Mac you can work in Android and iPhone as well right so let's go and start downloading Appium server So download Appium server. Go to their official website. Right, and here you will see that Appium desktop for OS X, which is the Mac. So you can download same for Windows as well. There is no difference. So there are different uh, softwares present here. You can choose this .dmg file, okay? So this will be the installer file and if you double click and run after you install it will take you some steps you just need to click next next and then ultimately you will see one Appium server installed in your system 
I already have it. So that looks something like this. So once you installed in your launch pad, if you ask to move it to your launch pad, this is how it looks. Okay. So you need not do anything. Just do click on next buttons and you will see this icon, which is an Appium server. So let's go ahead and start it. So I got this by just downloading this .emg file and, run, and I just ran this file. Okay. So this is how it looks. It was saying that I am listening at port number 4723 in your system and host is 0.0.0, .0, .0 which is your local host, right? Because server is installed in your local host and it says the same, right? So let's go ahead and start the server. You can start it and this is how it looks. Server is running. Okay. You can see the description that welcome to Appium. So that means your server is successfully started. So one thing you have done, you had made sure that you have set up a server to intake the actual code and execute, right? Next, we have to install Xcode. What is this Xcode? So basically when you have iPhone app, now let's say you want to run this app on iPhone 12 or iPhone 13 or whatever, right? So you have to make sure you compile that app in that suitable operating system or in that suitable phone compatibility. Okay, so app will be there, but when you try to install it in iPhone 6, then that needs another compile build. And if you want to run them in iPhone 10, you need another compile build. It's just not that the same app will be used indefinitely in every iPhone and iOS version. Okay, so version matters. That app should be basically compatible to that version, right? So if you have an app, you have to compile that app in that specific iOS and iPhone version so that you can use that compiled app to automate in that iPhone, right? So let's say in our course, my goal is to uh, execute in iPhone 12 in 14.3 version, iOS version. So I have an app with me. So let's go ahead and download one app, which is for practice. And we will try to compile that app in this version and make sure it is available. So if it's compatible, then you can go ahead and automate in this. Okay. So first let's get the app and then we will install Xcode to compile app on the version. Right. So to get the app, so for Appium practice, uh, basically these guys have provided one app. Let me show you. So UI catalog app, this one. Okay, so if you read the description, it tells you that it's a simple test application for iOS used by Appium for certain tests. So we are working on the latest version. So for latest version, you should apps will build in UI kit catalog. Okay, so basically you have to clone this code into your system. Okay, so you can download uh, it as a zip file directly if you have not installed any git in your system or you can uh, clone by writing a command git clone and give this url so it will be cloned right so you can just do download zip as well it's up to you how do you want to do and you can extract it so once you extract this folder you will have one uh, xcode project here let me show so my overall goal is that we are downloading one app now to practice. I told you that I will show iOS app automation, right? So that app I just downloaded now. Okay. So after I extract that and here where my UI catalog app is present, right? So in that UI catalog app, you would see, go to this UI kit catalog, this folder on your latest versions, you have to choose UI kit catalog. So if you want to run your automation test in a version less than iOS 10, then choose UI catalog. But apart from that, all the latest versions go to this folder and you will see one dot Xcode project. Basically, this is the file which you have to compile in your respective iOS version and iPhone to make it ready for automation, right? This is the most important to open this file. You need Xcode. 
okay so let's go ahead and download xcode first and try to double click that so that it will open in the xcode so you can get the xcode from app store go to the app store and search for xcode right this is the one so right now i already have in my system but in your case it will show install so guys this will have this will occupy a lot of space it's around 11 gb so when you try to install it will take some good amount of time based upon your operating system okay so install this xcode and open this so at least install and keep it that's all we need and then we can go to that xcode project and double click that so that it opens in xcode editor so basically this is an editor where people use to develop ios apps but for us we just need this editor for compiling only okay this is one of the developer tool provided by apple so we don't need this for any further uh, testing in our course we just need this for compiling of our dot xcode app okay so once you install this xcode now come back to your um, finder and try to double click this ui catalog so that file will open your xcode and it will also open your ui catalog project so when developer have designed this app this is the code that guy have written and you can see everything here but in our case our goal is to compile this when you compile you will get one dot app file in your products folder this is your actual app which you want to install in your iphone okay so if you want to install any app into iphone that app should have a file called dot app extension okay so this is the core file which you just need to deploy in your iphone using appium okay so this file is now ready-madely there but we are not sure uh, which ios version this app file supports okay so to get the app extension file of your own ios version you have to compile this and then it will generate for your version okay so there is a drop down here you would see on top select this um, and you see all these are different ios simulators and their respective operating systems are present now you have to choose in which ios version you have to compile this you can go to iphone 8 9 10 11 12 anything okay so let's say i want to compile this app in this version because my goal is to automate my app in iphone 12 pro okay select this and just run the build so this will try to compile your app on that specific iphone 12 pro ios version okay so sorry i already ran that right so let's wait perfect so once you compile it after successful compilation it will open iphone 12 pro simulator you see that one iphone is opened for you so how this happened this happened because you try to compile your app if it successfully compiled what xcore does is it will open one iphone 12 pro phone and it will deploy that app into that phone and give you like this to make sure that it's successfully compiled and it's installed you see that you are able to invoke one simulator when i say simulator it's just a virtual iphone in your system so in the upcoming lectures we will try to automate our apps on this virtual iphone only and we will confirm if it is working as expected okay so you see that ui kit catalog this is an app this is successfully installed so all this happened with one single click right so let's say now if you want to compile it uh, in iphone 11 pro and then run your job again let's see within a few seconds you will see one app launching you see that there is another 11 pro is launching 12 is the previous one and the 11 is also launching it's trying to deploy that app based upon that ios version and it's good great so this is how you can compile and make sure your app is ready 
So from this, what you need is this one. Let me close all this. You just need this uh, UI catalog dot app. So I thought I want to do in iPhone 12 Pro, right? So whatever phone you want to do, do it and make sure you capture this. This is the file we will use in our next lecture to automate using Appium. Okay, we'll continue our discussion. Thank you.